here I've got a medical syringe. It's an unused medical syringe. It did it have like um, some medicine in it, like pre-filled, uh, but I emptied that out. And the needle on the end is pretty new, um, as you can see there. Um, yeah, this was just for my, my, my partner's medication, uh, which she didn't use, so I just emptied it out and I thought I'd use the medical syringe uh, for this purpose of dripping ink and just create some effects. Um, it does take some experimentation with and um, maybe, you know, later on I could maybe uh, do more effects with it, with maybe thicker paint. I've got some ink there. Using the red ink because we want to just do some like blood spatters. I'm using the diamond ink there, which is super cheap ink. Um, yeah, so basically, I'm just gonna test this out. Maybe test a, a few drips or splatters that I can do. Uh, it might not be great, but it's the first time I'm doing this on video, so I thought I'd just show you different ways that you could do. Um, these like drips and splatters. I'd say the drips turned out quite well actually so I'd say it's really good for drips. I've filled some up there as you can see um, just undiluted ink straight from the bottle and as you can see I'm just testing out the drip there and it tests it out really does it really good actually. I was really pleased with that and also you can test out different colours, you know, uh, different splatters. There we go, another blood drip there and try to do some splatter things like that. And here I've filled it up again. I'm going to try and do some... There's a bit more of a splatter on that one and another drip. Um, it might... Definitely might need some experimentation with trying to uh, do more splatters, how you want to achieve it on the page or the paper. Um, if there's some excess ink, I'll just scoop that up and, you know, re, uh, you know, get it in the syringe there. I like that splatter best because it's more, it's like diagonal. Um, as you can see, there's little pools of it that I can just take back uh, little bits or dilute it with water and make thinned out like um, sort of like splats and drips and things like that it's definitely useful you know testing out uh, just got to be careful using a, a needle obviously um, but it's just down to basic common sense storage and things like that and storing it nice and safe and maybe labeling it like I'll probably label that um, later on um, just to mark it as like an art tool really um, yeah so I hope you enjoyed that quick video uh, more videos to come cheers